Hello and welcome to Up The Villa fan cams. It's Aston Villa versus West Ham United. A massive, massive game. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Up The Villa. See you at Villa Park. Aston Villa 1, West Ham 4. Absolutely shit show from Villa. First half, didn't lay a glove on Declan Rice and Suchek. We knew it was coming, we knew they'd dominate midfield. We got a foothold back in at 1-1, but we just conceded straight away. Declan Rice, edge of the box. And then Villa with 10 men looked a lot better. We looked, we, we were putting tackles in. We were, we were actually trying, but I thought with 11 men, it was more of the same for Villa. We, we, we were shit, to be fair. Uh, we didn't lay a glove on them. And it's just very disappointing. We've ringed the changes. We've we've tried a different system, and it's just same old results. Lack of tackles, lack of pressing, lack of putting any foothold on the game. I'm just I'm just really disappointed. To be fair, I think Dino's made the changes, but it's just not worked, has it? I think we all know 42,000 Villa fans in that stadium know that this squad is a lot better than what it's showing. And at the minute, we're just not performing. And for whatever reason, I don't know whether it's Dino or the players or the system, I'm just disappointed. As a fan, I thought this season we were going to be like mid-table at best, but at the minute, it looks like we're in a relegation battle. Me and Ryan, we're going to Southampton away, and what's going to change? It's going to be the same old team, same old performance. And I'm just very disappointed. I, I wanted a reaction the whole fan base wanted a reaction and we've not got it and it's very disappointing so let's hear what everyone else has got to say up next we've got ryan what are your thoughts mate uh, i'm shocked i'm shocked i wanted to see were right i wanted to see the performance doing you know, my massive calls he's dropped his captain and fuck it just did not happen it did not happen first half Suchek and Rice, we knew their capabilities, we knew we had to stop them, but we didn't, we stood off them. And let me take you back to Project Restart, where Dino said we had training ground players, and I think Matty Cash, uh, not Matty Cash, sorry, Matty Target is one of them training ground players, where I don't know what has happened between last season and this season, but you had the opportunity to close him down, and 1-0, you had the opportunity to close Declan Rice down, we didn't do it, 2-1, two uh, two and it's just like, these are the danger men and we're not closing them down, and it's just like, you know, Declan Rice to me, he's a glorified David Batty, and oh, I'm just so, it's reactional, it's reactional, I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated with the team, I'm frustrated that we didn't get a foothold in the game, that West Ham, we showed them so much respect, it's like, they were landing like you said in the preview, Luke, like, they're not prime Barcelona, of West Ham even finished in the top six, top eight of the Premier League? Oh, I can't remember. I cannot remember them having been a decent Premier League team and we just showed them way too much respect and we looked lost, we looked lost and Dino made a massive change in, in, in dropping in Mings and, and putting in Hayes and fair play to him. I thought Hayes was terrific first half and then second half kicks off with 2-1 down and then the one that's been consistent in that, in that bat line Ezra Konza, he gets sent off. I, I, I missed it. I missed it, so I can't comment on it. I, I believe he was the last man, and uh, and he gets sent off. And it just didn't happen for Villa. It didn't happen today. And, and then, just as we looked to get back in it, as Al Ghazi was running for a goal, your referee blows up for a for a yellow card. It wasn't even like a red card. It was a clumsy challenge on the camber. I don't know if it was red or yellow, but to stop the play, for me, it's a red card, isn't it? You've got to stop it. When, when, when Al Ghazi's one on one at 2-1 down, you've got to stop the play if it's a red card. And, and for him to dish the yellow out then, and then all of a sudden we just capitulated and it was 3-1, 4-1. Game over. I, I, I feel for Watkins. I feel like he, he ran left to right, left to right. We couldn't get him in the game. I just feel we have not got the midfield to get it right. We just, we, whatever combination we use, we just can't get it right. If we want to play McGinnis as number 10 and have two holding midfielders, we ain't got two holders, we ain't got two number eight. I, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm frustrated, and I'm sure when the dust settles, we're We'll we, we talk again, but at the minute it's reaction and I'm disappointed and I'm quite, is, angry. I'm quite angry. Today, we wanted a reaction. And we did. 
and we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We and didn't get it. That's the big thing for Villa yeah. fans now. Yeah. There's, there's we was at home, Villa Park, 42,000 fans here. And how good were the fans, to be honest? We're at the at 89th minute, 90th minute, we're singing a la la la. We're behind the team. The fans, top fucking nuts today. 100% behind the team. But oh, let down, man. Let down bad. Let it's, down. Really, it's really frustrating, and I think it's, it's a worry moving forward. So, yeah. uh, I'll see you at Southampton. I'll see you at Villa Park, half two, get that fucking coach. Three and a half hours to talk. How we're going to beat Southampton and we'll come back and beat them up the Villa. <laughs> so we got main man Justin, what were your thoughts mate? Oh God, how disappointing was that. Came with a real hope and expectation that we might be able to grab something out of this game today. Really hope that, it, and when the team news dropped, obviously a few players out injured which is a, a massive blow, Higgs and, uh, and Louise missing now. But I like the formation, I like the personnel, I thought it was okay, I thought it was something we could actually go with today. But that first 20 minutes set the tone, unfortunately, for the whole game. I mean, it was a team that was full of confidence versus a team that's just lacking confidence in it. You could see, even when we scored, we just didn't know how to go on from there. You know, we had two or three minutes when we looked like we could go, and they just then they just grabbed hold of the game again. They settled down. They went back into their. They're well drilled. They're in good form. They've got a manager that's just. They're flying, aren't they? You know, we've come up against a really good side today, and we just haven't had the answers to, to get anything from the game. It's bitterly disappointing for Dino because. You could see how much he wanted this today, you see how much he needed this today, to be honest, you know, four defeats in a row now, it, it, it leaves him, I don't know, I don't want him to see him go, I really don't, but it, you know, we're going to have to start getting results very, very quickly now, I don't know what's going to happen this next week, I mean, the injury to Ramsey as well is a huge blow, the sending off now with Conso, I thought it was a red to be fair, from where I sit, Bowen was clean through, he's going to have a shot in on goal, so I was surprised the ref didn't give the red to be fair, but you know, as soon as he went to the referral VAR, I think he was set in stone, he was going to go. And after that, we showed a bit of fight, Nikamba, fantastic, you know, whatever he makes, he lacks in footballing ability, he makes up more, you know, in his, in his way he gets about and, and he tackles and, you know, I wish the ref had allowed that advantage, who knows what would have happened then, because from that free kick they broke and got the third, which was so disappointing. I really don't know what to say, to be honest. We've been here before, we've lost managers. I've, you know, 45 now, I've lost loads of managers down here, and it, it feels like, you know, he, he, he's got to get something very quickly. I'm hoping he's going to still be in, the, in charge against Southampton next week. I'm hoping that, you know, we can somehow get a team out there that can compete and get a result because, you know, he really needs a result now more than anything that he's ever needed in his three year tenure at Villa. The man needs a result, so let's see what happens this week. But, Bitterly disappointed from Villa Park tonight. I share that you know the lads' frustration. You know all we want to do is see Villa flying, and at the moment it's 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 looking pretty dodgy. So let's hope we can pick something up somewhere on the line the next week or two. But keep keep hoping, keep keep smiling, help the Villa, and we'll see what happens. They've had it. Very very disappointed Villa fans. Very frustrated at Villa Park today. We wanted the reaction and. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. We knew West Ham are a brilliant side. They're, they're banging form, but feel like at the minute, too flaky, too inconsistent, and we look fragile. Like we're bringing Ashley Young to replace Conte, and it just, it, do, it just weren't great. And I, I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed. And I'm, you know, I'm going to Southampton, and uh, I, I don't know what to think. I, I don't know whether Dino can can move us forward. I, I hope he can, but. I just don't see the reaction. I, I, I don't see enough in that squad at the minute that, that are going to do it for me. I think some of the recruitment, we're crying out for a, a central midfielder. We look at Suchek, you look at Rice, complete domination. That They don't do anything fancy. It's just knock it left to right. They find the creative, the flair players, and, and, and that's what we don't do. They know where they should be. And they're a team in con to total control, unlike what we are at the minute. We're erratic, we don't know where to put the ball, we're lumping it long to Watkins. And, and, and to me, it looks like there's no idea. It's the easy option, and I'm just bitterly disappointed. So I'll see you at Southampton. Hopefully, we get a reaction, and, and we'll see. Keep the faith up the villa.